winter is approaching and we've got to make sure that the bees have enough stores. What we like to do before the summer ends, we take the supers off slightly early. That way, the honey flow is still going. Any honey that's coming in from the bees, the only option they've got to store is in their brood box. So they're building up their stores for winter and it's worked so far. Most of the hives we've got here are full of honey stores, but we've got a couple of hives where we've had really big colonies and a lot of bees need a lot of food. Add the weather at the moment. I mean, we've had a week of rain, just constant rain, and the temperatures are starting to plummet. So they're eating and consuming more food. So help is needed. We have been feeding sugar syrups, but now because the temperatures are coming down, it's not advisable. So we're moving on to fondants. Fondants, great. You can buy it on most bee sites. For wooden hives, you've got a crown board. You can then put the fondant on the crown board and let the bees come up and take it when they need it. But with the poly hives we have here, we need to be a bit more practical. So that's when we need an eek. One of these. So this, all I've done is cut a super in half and that forms an eek. And I'll show you how we use those. We're at one of the hives that needs a little bit of help. So the first thing I'm going to do is heft the hive. I have got videos of this and I'll attach the link. So we'll just heft it before we do anything. It's got some good weight to it, but I, I want it to have a little more. I'm using Appy Pasta and they're one kg each. So we've got two here, a little bit of smoke. because we're not putting it on a crown board, I'm going to do some long cuts. That way you can place it over the frames and they can be in multiple areas and they can choose whereabouts they are and come up and get the, and get the fondant. So let's make a couple of cuts in this. I'm going to do it on this side. So we'll just go there. Just a thin strip there. Doesn't have to be neat, just enough for them to get in there. And then what I also like doing is putting a few slits on the sides. These are for exits for the bees, just in case they get trapped. And I'll put some on the top as well, so I can open up a little pocket up here. That way they can also come up, take the fondant. It's a bit rough, but does the job. It's a big colony in this. So we'll put that one there. So now that's, we've got it open here and it comes across. So it's coming across about three frames worth. And we'll do the same with this one. So slit down there. Let's move it across. Come on girls. Come on. And then we get our eek. Like so. Now we've got an eek on and a bit of perspex, we can actually monitor what's going on in here and see if they need some more. And that way we can also keep hefting the hives every couple of weeks. And if they need more food, we can give more food. So for this hive, we do the same thing. Just make some slits. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then some exit holes. There's no harm in leaving fondants on all the hives. We're probably going to be leaving fondants on later on in the winter. That way it just rests your mind if the bees need more food. That way, if you've given them fondant, they've got it if they need it. 